welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain causal and non causal system so system is said to be causal system if its output response is depending on present and past inputs it does not depends on future input so that is what causal system for non causal system output response of system depends on future input so this is what we need to keep in our mind if response of system is depending on present and past inputs in that case one can say given system is causal system but if response of system is not depending on if it is depending on future input in that case it will be non causal system so let us try to understand this with some examples so it will be more clear like see in first problem y of n if it is x of n plus x of n minus 1 so here if i place n is equals to 0 you will be getting y of 0 is equals to x of 0 plus x of minus 1 so here output response is depending on present and past input see this is present and this is past so output response depends on present and past inputs so it is causal system this is present and this is past let us consider some examples if y of t that is 2xt plus 1 by x square of t plus 1 so over here if i place t is equals to 0 then you will be having y of 0 is equals to 2 times of x of 0 plus 1 divided by x square of 1 so here one can say output response depends on this is present present input and this is future input so as output is depending on future input it is non causal system if output is depending on future input one can say it is non causal system let us consider few more cases if y of n that is given by x square n plus x n minus 1 plus x cube n plus 1 so over here if i place n is equals to 0 in that case you will be having y of 0 is equals to x square of 0 plus x of minus 1 plus x cube of plus 1 so here output response depends on this present past and this is future inputs so given system is non causal system so one can say this given system is non causal system now see there are few cases that 
one should follow to understand this topic little better in previous in previous session i have explained static and dynamic system right so in static case if in output is depending on present input in that case one can say a given system is static so see over here this system is depending on present and past input so it is causal system now see in case of static system that response should depends on present input only so if system is static then one can say it will be always causal system but if system is causal one can say it cannot it may not be a static system so all causal system sorry for all static system can be a causal system but all causal system may not be a static system so here one can say this all causal all causal system may not be a static system but all static system is causal system why the reason is for static system output is depending on present input only right so that will be always causal system but for causal system output is depending on present and past input so all causal system may not be a static system but all static system is always a causal system now see one more thing that we can understand based on that for dynamic system output is depending on for dynamic system output is depending on present past and future input but for causal system output only depends on present and past input so we can say all causal system all non causal system are dynamic like see non causal system is what actually if output is depending on future input so it will be dynamic right like see over here i have considered this case so this is what depending on future input this system that is depending on future input so that is dynamic as it is having dependency on future input so one can say all non causal system is dynamic but it is not the case like all dynamic system are non causal system so here one can say all non causal system are dynamic but all dynamic system may not be a non causal system see these are this is very important point and sometimes you'll be finding examples are coming in gate examination based on these two points so one should know this there are some cases even that we have studied here like see for non causal there is only one thing that we need to think about if output is depending on future inputs then it will be non causal system while for dynamic it may be depending on future it may be depending on past so if system is non causal system then it is depending on future input so definitely that will be a dynamic system as it requires memory to store it but for dynamic system there could be three cases it may be depending on future it may be depending on past so all dynamic system may not be a causal system so this is what we need to keep in our mind i hope that you have understood this session
please ask your valuable questions definitely i'll try to get back to you and in future i'll try to ensure those doubts to be solved by new sessions thank you so much for watching this video